All right, today's lecture is on acids and how to name them and what are they. So generally what you're going to do is you can recognize an acid if you taste it, which is not a safe lab practice, but things like lemon juice, fruits, okay, those are acidic because they're sour. Um, they also will react with metals, so like battery acid, it's pretty... It's an acid, obviously, duh. Um, so there's a list here of common acids that we have here and a lot of fruits that do contain acids. Most fruits do contain acid. So like, you know, when you eat pineapple, you're, if you eat too much pineapple, it kind of eats away at the, the, your mouth because it's just, it's, it is very acidic. So in this lesson, we're going to understand that acids contain hydrogen. And usually when you see the formula, hydrogen is the first symbol you see. We're going to identify the two parts of an acid formula. And the most important thing is that we're going to be able to write the formula for the acids. Okay, acids are a special kind of ionic compound. They may look like molecular compounds because they're things like HCl. You know, that's two nonmetals. So we would think if it's two nonmetals that it would be a molecular compound, but it's really an ionic compound. Um, it's made out of an H plus and a Cl minus. So we can recognize the acids because they start with H. So we have hydrochloric acid, that's HCl. We have HC2, H3O2. You know, that's probably the nastiest formula acid you have. But see here, you've got the H in the front. That makes it, and that's how we can kind of say, oh, yeah, that's an acid. Even water. Okay, which we're going to talk about much later at the end of the year. But even water can be defined as a weak acid because it's like H plus and OH minus. Do you see how if you put H plus and OH minus together, you would get H2O? Okay, the simplest form of an acid is an Arrhenius acid, which we notice, you know, we can recognize it because it does have that H at the beginning. So that's what we've been talking about, like H2SO4, HCl, H3PO4. Now, what do you see? Just think about it. Maybe pause for a minute. What's wrong with those formulas? Okay, wouldn't we normally write H2SO4 with an H and a little subscript to SO4? We don't generally don't write, you know, all of them on the same line like that. So these, the 2 and the 4 here, should be subscripts, right? How about this H3PO4? What do you think? Yep, that 3 should be a subscript PO4. Now, do you see that H2SO4 is made out of H and SO4? So it's really H plus and SO4 2 minus. So if we really wrote it out, it would be H plus and SO4 2 minus. Now still that's neutral because we have those two of them. So we have two H pluses. So two H pluses is a two plus and a two minus. So that's neutral. So that's why it's H2SO4. Why do you think phosphoric acid is H3PO4? Well, what's the charge on phosphate? Think about that. Go look it up on your, on your periodic table. You'll see that phosphate is PO4 3 minus. And so how many H pluses do you need to make that neutral? You need three of them. So that's why it's H3 PO4. But again, the point is, see how they all start with H. And that's one of the ways that we can say, hey, yeah, that's an acid. Okay, so the acids that we're going to focus on only end in ick. So there's sulfuric acid, but there also is sulfurous acid. But we're only going to deal with the ick form because that's easier. And 
they always start with that H plus. And then there's always, did you notice in the other formulas, we always talked about a negative ion at the end. It was H plus and Cl minus, H plus and SO4 2 minus, H plus and PO4 3 minus. So it's always H plus with some negative anion. So when we, when you see the names, like one of them I gave you was hydrochloric acid, okay? Hydrochloric acid, which means it's H plus, it's always H plus, any acid, H plus. You're just going to go H plus. And then it's chlor hydrochloric. So if it's going to be hydrochloric, you're going to put it with the chloride ion, not the chlorate ion, the chloride ion. And so it'd be H plus and Cl minus, that's HCl. And that is our most important acid. If you remember no other acid, you should know HCl off the top of your head. But if we had chloric acid, okay, without the hydro, okay, this is hydrochloric, this one's hydrochloric. But if we just had chloric acid, chloric acid, is with the eight ion, so with chlorate. And if you go look that up, you see chlorate is ClO3 minus. And so the chloric acid would be H plus with ClO3 minus, so it would be HClO3. So if it's just the ide ion, then it would be hydrochloric. If it's the eight ion, like we have over here, this is our eight ion, then it would just be chloric acid. This would just be chloric. This is hydrochloric because it's just the two things. All right, so give these a try. Pause the video right now. Pause this video. Oh, I already gave you some of these. You should know some of these. All right, so pause the video and see if you can figure these out. All right, let's see how you did. Hydrocyanic. Cyanic. Cyanic. Ooh, what ion does that sound like? Doesn't that kind of sound like cyanide? So wouldn't we... Cyanide is CN minus, and then we put it with an H plus. So we put those together, the H plus, the plus and the minus cancel out, so we just go H, C, N, and that was easy. Okay, except for hydrocyanic, that was kind of weird. You kind of had to go, ooh, cyanic, that's cyanide. Phosphoric acid. Is there a hydro in the front? No. There's no hydro in the front. So we want to look for that eight ion. So phosphate. So we look that up. Phosphate and then with the H plus. And how many H pluses do we need to cancel out the three minus? That's going to become H3PO4. Chloric acid. Is there a hydro in the front? No. So it's the eight ion. So it's going to be chlorate. Okay, remember we looked up all these polyatomic ions. Remember they're at the top of your periodic table. H plus with that. One plus, one minus. So those just squish together. HClO3. Hydrosulfuric. So now we do have this hydro. What does that mean? Remember what that meant? That meant you were using the ide ion. So we're going to use the sulfide ion. So it's going to be H plus with sulfide. Okay, so look at your periodic table. See sulfur's in that group six. One plus two plus three plus four. Three minus two minus one minus no more. So sulfide's in that two minus group. Okay, so we have H plus and S two minus. How many H pluses do we need 
to cancel out the 2 minus, we need 2 of them. So it becomes H2S. And then sulfuric acid, last one, last one, almost done. Sulfuric acid, does it have the hydro in front? No. So we want to look for the 8 ion, sulfate. SO4 2 minus. See how it's kind of easier if you'd memorized all these? But you can look them up. It's okay. You can look them up. They're right there on the big top of your periodic table. So we have H plus with SO4 2 minus, a 1 plus, a 2 minus. So we need two H pluses. So that's going to become H2SO4. All right. At the very end, very, very, very end. Bottom line, if you know no other acid, no other acid, you should know HCl. Okay, that is not an I. I don't want to hear you guys say HCI. You know, if you have to write HCl, do that, but it's an L. It is not an I. When I write I's, remember, they're going to have bars on the top and the bottom. A capital I is going to have bars on the top and the bottom, and I suggest you do that. HCl, remember, is hydrochloric acid, and that is the one acid that we are really going to use over and over and over again because it's the easiest acid for us to get a hold of. All right, so go practice, 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 okay? If you, if you don't get this formula writing, you're going to be up the creek for the rest of the semester. So practice, 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 practice. Got it? All right, I will see you guys later. Good luck, and remember, if you have questions, you can email me or you can ask the other two chemistry teachers. All right, see ya. Bye.